Hello, I'm Ryan, this is Pablo, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the second episode of my Europe trip, and this time it's a two-parter. Have you ever heard of the Pyrenees? Well, personally, I didn't know much about it, and I still don't see much of it on social media. The Pyrenees is a mountainous range that divides the border between France and Spain. For the best views of the East Pyrenean range, you have to visit a small chapel that sits on top of a hill, which you can access via a small single-track road. This is Chapelle de la Madeleine. The chapel overlooks a tall Pyrenean mountain range that sits at around 3,000 metres, with the tallest being 3,146 metres, and it's called Pic du Baleatus. Before I set off, I always check Google Maps to see if there's any local photo opportunities, because there may be something I may have missed. And that's how I found this next spot. Suspended 150 metres above the void is the Holzart Suspension Bridge in Laral. This long and narrow bridge was built for loggers to get to the other bank. Unfortunately, my next crossing was not so smooth. Fifty metres from the border crossing of Spain, I hit a roadblock. Snow drifted over the road and I had to find an alternative route. I then set my sights on the next border crossing, which is Camfranc. While making my way into the Pyrenean border into Spain, I came across a small town called Acus. From there, I hiked a small hill called La Poe. This is where you get a magnificent view of La Ambre and the sharp ridge that surrounds. I sometimes use my drone as a tool to scope out locations on a map when it's not quite clear. This is when I saw a structure on the mountain that turned out to be a weather contraption. Whilst there, the most incredible thing happened. An eagle surprised me as it flew past and wasn't phased by the drone in the area. I watched it go by back to its nest and brought the drone back home as soon as possible. Nestled away high in the mountains is a fort built to hide amongst the cliffs. Called Fort du Port de Lay and it was constructed in the 1800s to protect the access to Col du Somport.
mimicking the fort is this incredible cliff edge walkway that has been carved into the mountain face and marked the start of tomorrow's hike, which turned out to be my longest and highest hike. In the UK we have these small huts called boffies, they're used by farmers to shelter in the winter or they can be used in emergencies to seek cover from the bad weather. In France they're called refuges and after doing some research I found one with the most incredible view that I wanted to visit. I knew there had been some snowfall in the area so I found a contact and emailed them to check everything was okay. They warned me to say there were some avalanches in the area but be careful. I decided to go ahead and assess as I go along so I set off at 3am hoping to catch this nice sunrise at the top of a mountain. Oh, sorry for a spooky one. I thought I'd um, just do a quick message. I've done about three hours of this hike now and I've just started heading into the snow. So, fingers crossed it's still crossable. I've, ha I've got to cross a few waterfalls, no difficult, but fingers crossed the snow's not too deep and we can keep going. So, let's go. I made my way through the snow, but I hit a point where the snow just became too deep with the equipment that I had, so I decided the sensible thing would be to turn back. That wasn't before sending my drone one last time just to have a quick look of where I would have been. After checking out the area with my drone, I could see there had been some avalanches down towards the refuge. So I decided to make my way back, but we all know what comes up must come down. So I'm taking a fun way. Oh, we're ruined anyway. Oh, oh. Awesome. When you do a sunrise hike, you actually miss a lot of stuff at the start of your journey as it's still night time. But when you come back, you get to see what the incredible views are. Now time to head through the tunnel and make my way into Spain. While checking out the station, I stumbled across this old train that had just been left to rot and I had to go explore it. It looks as though the homeless had been living here for some time as there was a mattress inside, but most of the wooden structures had rotted away. My first impression of the Pyrenees was just breathtaking. I got my first glimpse of the eagles, the huge snowy mountains, and even the incredibly built fort. The next video sees me travel through the Spanish side of the Pyrenees, and it doesn't disappoint. More eagles, incredible countryside, and vivid blue water. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy.